Zaporizhia Nuclear Power Plant, Zaporizhia NPP, is the most powerful nuclear power plant in Europe and the world. Its six reactors are capable of producing 6 million kilowatts or 6,000 megawatts of electricity. Over 32 years of operation, the plant was able to generate more than 1 billion kilowatt hours of energy. This figure would be enough for seven years uninterrupted supply of electricity all over Ukraine. The largest European nuclear power plant was built in the city of Energodar in Zaporizhia region, near the Kakavka Reservoir on the Dnieper River. According to the territorial location Zaporizhia NPP is also called Energodar NPP. Zaporizhia NPP is equipped with standard VVR-1000 reactors, which in the 1970s were installed at all new nuclear power plants in the USSR. However, they are still installed today as the safest and time-tested ones. There were a whole series of Soviet projects of new power plants with VVR, about five of them, Zaporizhia NPP is among them. Zaporizhia region was chosen to build the plant for several reasons. First, there is no agriculture there, and the vast territory of the NPP will not disturb anyone. Secondly, after the construction of Zaporizhia TPP in 1972, all the necessary infrastructure already existed on site. Construction of the station began in 1981. Five years later, the construction site was declared all union Komsomol, and a flood of young people rushed to Zaporizhia, who erected the building for a penny, but with enthusiasm. The first unit was erected in less than four years, its commissioning was scheduled for early 84. The event was being prepared for a pompous celebration. Someone was deservedly expecting to be awarded the title of Hero of Socialist Labor. But on January 27, 1984, at the power unit there was a fire. Two fitters, entering the technical room at the 13-meter mark, saw smoke coming from the rack cabinet and flames coming from below. When the fire could not be extinguished by their own efforts, they called for reinforcements, 21 vehicles and over 100 firefighters. During the evacuation of personnel, it turned out that there was a worker left on one of the floors. The search in the thick smoke took an hour and a half. When a man was found alive, but distraught with smoke, he rushed to run away. According to eyewitnesses, the sight was spectacular and terrifying, PVC insulation ignited, melted and, breaking off, set fire to bundles of cables at lower levels. The shaft was 50 meters high and the flames spread like a wave, and it was impossible to catch them on the other floors. It took 18 hours to fully extinguish the fire. The entire stuffing of the mine from level 13 to level 41 was burned out, over 4,000 control units, 41 electric motors, 700 kilometers of various cables. The direct loss alone amounted to a million and a half rubles. There was no nuclear fuel in the reactor at the time of the fire. The reactor's safety director assured in due time that even if there was any, nothing bad would have happened. The first reactor was put into operation in 1985. The second reactor was officially launched in 1986. Unit 3 was put online in 1987. Reactor number 4 was launched by Zaporizhia NPP in 1988. In 1989 the fifth reactor of the plant was opened. Because of the moratorium on the construction and commissioning of new nuclear capacity, the sixth reactor was only commissioned in 1995. For five years it stood practically ready, waiting for the ban to be lifted. It is interesting that the first design of the plant included only four reactors, in 1988 a decree was issued to add two more reactors to the project. They were called the second stage of the plant. Zaporizhia NPP has six identical operating VVR-1000 type power units, water-moderated slow neutron reactors. Together, these generate 6,000 megawatts. Recently, however, some of the plant's reactors have been increasingly shut down for repairs or technical inspections. One or two reactors may not work for weeks or months. They say that the reactors are shut down because of the need to extend their operating lives, which, by the way, for the first three reactors have already come to an end. There is not enough money for complete refurbishment and the reactors are patched up from time to time. However, the information is not confirmed and may only be a rumor. All the reactors of the Zaporizhia plant were manufactured by the St. Petersburg Azorsky Zavod, 
the turbines were supplied by the Kharkov turboatom plant, and the generators by the St. Petersburg-based Electrosola Association. Interestingly enough, for the construction of the nuclear power plant in 1993 the plant workers were awarded the torch of Birmingham with the wording for survival in difficult economic conditions, the official website of the Zaporizhia NPP is still proud of it. Later it turned out, the investigation was carried out by commerce and journalists, the award turned out to be a sham, and the swindlers gave it to many enterprises, demanding considerable sums of money for the international praise. Zaporizhia NPP Today Annually Zaporizhia nuclear power plant produces about 40 billion kilowatt-hours of energy. This is almost 50% of Ukraine's total nuclear power generation and a fifth of the country's total energy. As of October 2016, since its opening, Zaporizhia NPP has generated 1,050,621,812 kilowatt-hours of energy, that's over a billion. According to this indicator Zaporizhia NPP is the most working nuclear power plant in the world. Ukraine can be proud that the employees of Energodar NPP managed to maintain the maximum power production capacity for so long. All generated electricity for 32 years of work would be enough for 130 years of continuous supplies of electricity to Zaporizhia region. Interestingly, Energodar NPP uses a system of cooling towers, special towers designed to cool hot water. Many plants of the USSR have maximum cooling pools, or even dump hot water into natural water reservoirs. There is a training center at the station. Zaporizhia NPP annually holds an internal competition for the best repair team, the best power unit, the best shift and the best section of the NPP. A chapel of Prince Alexander Nevsky was built and consecrated on the territory of the plant in 2012. The nuclear reactors of Zaporizhia NPP are named Zaporizhia 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To monitor the safety of the plant, in 2016 specialists from Wano, World Association of Nuclear Operators, whose main goal is the safety of all nuclear power plants in the world, came to the NPP. The so-called design-informed partner verification was developed at the Wano Center in Paris. The first country for which the global requirements were specially adapted, Ukraine's nuclear power plant is fully ready for the inspection, representatives of Energodar NPP said. Specialists of the World Organization will check literally everything, from chemical process technology to fire safety and emergency preparedness. Meanwhile, the plant's three reactors are still technically unusable. Reactor number one was to be shut down in 2014, reactor number two in 2015, and the third reactor is being prepared for decommissioning in December 2016. To extend the reactor's operation it is necessary to carry out extensive checks and repairs of the existing equipment, to replace many parts which are not fit for service for more than 30 to 35 years, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant has been operating for 32 years, and to submit reporting documents. All this costs a lot of money. Representatives of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant state that the plant is preparing for prolongation of the reactor's service life, but give no exact dates yet. Radioactivity of Zaporizhia NPP After the Ukrainian events of 2013-2014, provocative statements about Ukrainian enterprises appeared more and more often in the Russian press. Zaporizhia NPP was no exception. The incident occurred in December 2014. Power Unit 6 was shut down for one day for minor scheduled repairs. Russian media on the same day published information that the radiation background at Zaporizhia NPP was significantly excessive and nuclear reactor number 6 was shut down due to a terrible accident with radioactive releases. The information spread through many Russian federal mass media with detailed photos of alleged reports of Ukrainian specialists who recorded five to six times excessive radiation. Panic gripped the city of Energodar the nuclear plant was for a long time the main topic of rumors and speculation. Representatives of Ukraine's Energodom and Zaporizhia nuclear power plant immediately reacted to the provocation, calling the photos a fabrication. The real values of the radiation background were shown, which remained in absolute norms. The State Inspectorate for Nuclear Regulation of Ukraine also gave its confirmation. Power generating unit number 6, which caused a whole information story, was put into operation at the plant on the same day. 
At the moment, plant specialists are working on the creation of the spent nuclear fuel dry storage facility, SNFSF. The storage system is being developed by Kharkov Institute Energoprot together with American specialists. Germany, Canada, Switzerland, Great Britain and Ukraine have already tested the new generation dry storage units and American nuclear power plants are also testing the specific design of the storage units, which was also selected for construction at the Ukrainian nuclear power plant based on the tender results. The technology is represented by the American company Sierra Nuclear Corporation and Duke Engineering and Services DNS. It is not yet known when exactly the project will be implemented. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Tell us interesting facts you know about the topic of this video. See you in new videos.